Hello YouTube, today we're going to be go going over how to import SA2 models. So first we're going to go into resource and GDPC in the Sonic Adventure 2 folder in Steam. This will work for Sonic Adventure Dreamcast and for Sonic Adventure GameCube as well. We're going to copy these here. And next we're going to go into SA2 PC and SA Tools. All these tools will be provided in the description as a link, and we're going to split the model. Make sure it's Big Indian if it's GameCube or if it's PC. And we're going to set the output folder there, split that. As you can see, the model is there now, and we're going to load up the model in SA model. Always load the textures first, or we might have problems later with assignments. Then we can go ahead and load 0.sa2 model. As you can see, it's Sonic, he looks fine. We're going to do asimp export into this folder. That seems good. Default settings. There's going to be an error that pops up if you're using 3ds Max for this. Don't worry about it. Sonic is fine there. and things work. As you can see though, the names are a little weird for things. We're going to fix that. So since Sonic is a speed slash hunting character, we're going to do that. And now his stuff has proper names. Alright, cool. We can save this or whatever, and then we can go ahead and import our in this case is Mario. So we're going to do Mario.dae, default settings again. We're going to go ahead and adjust that out. Make him a 90. Scale him up to roughly Sonic size. And then we're going to go and adjust it so that his heals against Sonic's basically. From here, you need to rig him to Sonic, and it's interesting because in SA2, you can actually go and move around and rotate stuff to fit the model. So I could rotate Sonic's arm here to fit his. I recommend adjusting Mario's pose to Sonic's because it will be a little weird in game if you don't um, get it quite right. So we can go ahead and do things like this, adjust the shoulder, or we can adjust the arm more directly, which is probably what you more want to do. Another thing to note is that after you mostly adjust it to what Sonic has, you can go and adjust, say, the arm here. And we can actually make it so that his shoulder matches where Mario's is. So you can go ahead and position stuff about as much as you want, and that won't affect how it animates in game, it'll animate properly as long as you only really do the positioning there. And I won't go too much into the rigging, but if you want to do that you can find many tutorials on YouTube. So we're going to go ahead to, to the finished product, I've already deleted Sonic's model and made Mario's model work. I'm going to go ahead and export this, Mario.fbx. We're going to export in meters, that's very important. Import with defaults, export with meters. Now we're going to go back into SA model, or we would, but we need to go and add our textures in for Mario into Sonic's texture file. So we're going to go here, Sonic text.prs. Let's add in these three, and then we will also add in Flood's textures. So we're going to go into body, there, and that's nice. So you'll see that this kind of follows the pattern of what's there. I'm going to adjust it a little more just to make sure that we're not stepping on the toes of any other models or anything. There's lists of these all around, so you don't necessarily need to go and put random things like I am now, but 
it's generally not too big of a deal. So I'm going to go ahead and save this as a PVM, but also as a pack, because while pack is a better format for SA2, SA model does not currently read that. So we're going to go ahead and load this new pack before opening the new model. And we'll open that texture pack there. Then we'll open, we'll, we'll import Mario's model here. And as you can see, he's pure white. You can fix that by using Fulbright. And now he looks perfect. You'll see that the names are a little strange here compared to what Sonic's were, and we will fix that because that's pretty important. So we'll go in here, let's save Mario.sa2 model. And we'll copy this into there. Now we want to open command prompt. I'm in the L drive. And we'll change directories to there. And it's just CD plus your directory name. We'll do model relabeler. Mario.sa2 model. And then Sonic model slash 0.sa2 model. Because that's the one we want to replace. And as you can see, that worked out fine, and it looks like things are there. Now we can get rid of these extra files, except for the INI, that's very important. We want to make sure that's not selected. And there we go. One thing we will want to do is take this from the 0.sa2 model. Let's take the whole thing, I guess. want to go and replace 31 and 48. Just copy paste that in there. And this makes it so that we have the level of detail models or like the low quality models replaced for this. going to go into a mod directory. You can make a mod odd directory by making a directory in your mods, doing mod INI, setting it up. Not too much to it. If you want to disable the jiggle, like for this one, just go ahead and add that DLL. I'll have that linked. And once all that's there, once we have our texture here, And as you can see, instead of Sonic, we get Mario. He moves a little awkwardly because of the rig that I have, but he works. You can go ahead and replace the jump ball model, the upgrade model, and all of that. Pretty easy. You can even get rid of them if you'd like. And even replace the light dash model, and I'll go over that in a moment. Okay, so I've provided the light dash animation just to speed things up a bit, and you can go ahead and download that. And if you load it up like this, then as you can see, if you move the camera a bit, Mario is in the light dash position. It's a little awkward looking, obviously, because he's not really meant to have his legs move like that in this rig, but that's the proper animation for him, and for your character it'll probably look a lot better. Anyways, once we have all that done, we can just select both the meshes here, convert to editable, to get rid of the skinning stuff, then we'll select everything but those, delete, and now if we combine them, we can go ahead and export them. Maybe smooth that out a bit. Yes, we can go ahead and export them. 
remember that when you do export them, you want to go with meters like before. And it's pretty much the same process along with the model relabeling, except that instead of doing it over zero, you'll do it over 30.SA2 model because that is Mario's, or rather Sonic's, light dash animation. Now for another useful thing, let's go ahead and render the jump ball texture that we see so commonly whenever Sonic bounces. So we're going to go ahead and load up 11.json, which I've provided. That makes Mario curl up a bit. We're going to go to render setup. I've set it as 1024. It's 1024 here. And we're going to zoom in on him just a little more to make it a little better. Nice. And we're going to import Mario. Maybe a tiny bit small. So, since I'm being lazy here and just showing it for example purposes, go ahead and do this. We're going to blur him anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. And I'm going to do a radial blur on him. Let's make it five or so. better. So we're going to do that. And then we get that other layer there. And let's give it a nice red background. And now that's about what Sonic has for his, but with Mario. And that's about it. So thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful. And please leave comments if there's anything you'd like to see next.